Do you ever feel like you are holding yourself back? Holding yourself back from something? Holding yourself back from somebody in your life? From some part of your body? From some place to be? From some job you want? Holding yourself back from leaving? From saying no? From going somewhere else? Holding yourself back? As I remind you of a thought which often we have holding ourselves back, an emotion, a worry, what's alive in you? What are you holding yourself back from? Really? Because we all have stuff, don't we? We all have dreams, ideas, like if, if only. If only this would happen, then I would be this. If only this would happen, I could become that. If only this would happen, then I would do this. What's your dream? What's that place you want to be? Where are you moving towards? In our culture, quite often we've forgotten about our dreams. They were full and in abundance when we were a child. Because that's all we knew was creativity and inspiration and imagination. But as we get older, often we forget, don't we? We forget that abundance of creativity that's available for us all. And then we get stuck in our patterns, our behaviours. If you're watching this channel, your pattern or behaviour is likely a repetitive movement of the body somehow, some way. But everybody has patterns and addictions and behaviours they've created in the turmoil of their mind and the stuckness of the limited possibility and capacity of the mind. And then when we hold on and we create those patterns, whether they are addictions in the physical world of drugs or alcohol or work or money or whatever it is, or whether it's in the body, an addiction in the body like a tick. They are all just expressions of a dissatisfied human being. A human being that hasn't found its potential. Hasn't found its capacity to really love and be in the world. Because that being is playing out all these patterns. <laughs> which isn't a rested loving place. And when I say love, of course there's still love, but there's depths of love, like there are different depths of an ocean, depths of love that can be felt and experienced in life. So we play out these patterns, we play out these patterns, these addictions, these neurotic mind stories and if we've caught those neurotic mind stories pretty bad it manifests through and out into the body into this space as my dongle just starts dongling around okay we're back so we're like just dongling <laughs> through this space. We're just playing the same patterns again and again and again and through our body. And so here we are just playing the same repetitive patterns through our body. Are we ready for something else? Like really? I'm in a pretty lethargic mood today, as you can probably tell. But even in this lethargic, kind of down tempo mood, even here I have something to share. Something I would like to gift into YouTube, <laughs> into something, without the fear, without worrying about, you know, how I'm seen what I look like. 
And that was a big pattern for me, of course. Again, if you live with this condition, yeah. And we play these stories alongside the movements of, is somebody looking? Is somebody looking? What if somebody thinks something about me? What if they judge me? Oh my God, what are they going to say? Oh, like, I'm trying to bring about the ridiculousness of our mind here, guys. How obscene and absurd it is to suffer like this. To allow ourselves to play out this neurosis, this obsession, this, these thoughts, this worry. And beyond all of it, beyond all of that, there is a space where you can live again, be free. You can take a huge breath. And let it all go. Oh, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. But quite often you have to believe it's possible. Have a path towards the possibility. I hope my words inspire something in you. Or not. Maybe my words are just making you angry. And they're making you frustrated. And your mind is coming in right now and going, Oh, yeah, but you did it. It doesn't mean I can do it. <laughs> or, or, oh, it's going to be so much hard work then. I've got like a family, I've got kids, I've got my work, I've got to pay the bills, I'm in debt, la, la, la. Yeah. You know, all, all of that is true. All of those worries of the mind are true. It's okay to have them. And how much do you want this? How much do you want to stop ticking? Because maybe you're okay with it. Lots of us have habits in life. And we just play out the patterns for decades and decades and then we die. Okay. That's okay too. <laughs> right? Like, how much do you want it? Like, there's nobody else out there that's going to heal you or fix you from this tick. Other than you. Other than you. We've been trained to just look outside for answers. Oh, this expert, this neurologist, this therapist, this doctor, this supplement, this, mm, this teacher, this expert, this specialist. <laughs> Right? Look, scrambling around looking for answers outside. Oh, someone's going to have the answer. <laughs> I was fortunate in the sense that I quickly gave up on that. I realized nobody else could fig figure this out other than me. Other than in me. I chose to commit to stopping this. Yeah. Unfortunately, when somebody else has walked the path and then talks about it, it gets easier for other people, doesn't it? It's always the way. Hmm. Hmm. So, maybe just listening to me over the last nine minutes, maybe you can tune in, check in with your body right now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling more agitated, more angry, more frustrated? 
or are you feeling a little bit calmer are you feeling a little bit gentler in your body are you a little bit more relaxed maybe there's no difference maybe you're exactly the same as when you started watching this video but if there's one thing that you take away from this video from the last 10 minutes it's um only you can stop this and yes seek support ask questions find a guide find a coach but your heart your intuition knows how to get out of it it's the mind that's keeping you in the loop of the pain so start listening to like a subtler guidance and believe in yourself that it's possible Hmm. Okay, it's a nice gentle ramble for the day. <laughs> now post another video soon. So much love.